Hello YouTube world, I am back in Germany and what you're looking at here is the new setup for the electrolyzer. Uh, in the left hand side I have my 8 by 3 inch plates uh, series, let me get a little closer there you can see, all series there. This one, this is on the right hand side is the one from my previous electrolyzer which I took out. These containers I bought pretty cheap, they're $10. Uh, I found these really easy and easy to open and close, uh, easy to work with. Uh, they're acrylic, uh, bottom, uh, pet smart I think it was. Um, and what you're looking at is the new setup. I have a theory, since I'm going to be putting a lot more amperage on, well this one's going to be requiring a lot more amperage because of the bigger plates and all. So I figured I'm, the water in here I'm pretty sure is going to heat up. So I had a theory behind using the hydrogen buildup from this one to pass through this tube and the gas flows through there. On the top of this one, this, this one goes to my bubbler and takes the hydrogen and oxygen gas from there. The bridge here, I'm hoping that the cooling of the gas that flows through the water will help cool this side and at the same time try to transfer some uh, some cooling back to this side which I don't think it's going to be producing too much but it's all theory right now uh, I'm, I'm looking for some aquatic uh, temperature strips uh, or actually uh, yeah pretty much temperature temperature strips I can put inside that way I can see it from the outside what the temperature is inside the water so I didn't want to use any electronic stuff at this time to put any more holes in it so I didn't want to weaken the the container itself but that's that's my uh setup i'm still working on the bubbler because i gotta change it from from what i have the configuration i have it at now so i'm still working on that and my motorcycle been acting up uh just yesterday and i found found out what the problem was it's just uh my spark plugs are falling out i was running the motorcycle without air filters at first so i thought i was having some issues with the uh the corn oil that's been running in it but that wasn't the case and anyway stay tuned i have some more footage uh, i'm still working so this is my new system stay tuned